Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your weekly reading. Hope you guys are doing well. We're going to take a look at the energy of August 15th through August 31st, 2021. So if you're a Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Gemini, this is for you. Keep in mind it's general. So if this one doesn't resonate, maybe check out your Moon or your Rising sign. All right, Gemini, let's see what's coming in. So this is just general. Again, it's just whatever spirit has for you. This is the most prominent energy around Gemini through the 15th, the 15th to the 31st. It could be love. It could be work, career, you know, money, family, just whatever comes out. The most important message for that time frame. I did go ahead and link your August love readings below and the extended readings. So check those out. Those were really fun to do this last time around. A lot of good energy. All right, one more shuffle. I did pre-shuffle, so I'd like to get the energy moving. Okay, Gemini, we are set. Let's see what your week looks like for Gemini. Gemini, all right, coming into the current moment, what do we have? Six of Wands, Leo energy. What's the influence or the challenge to that Six of Wands? It's the Four of Wands. What's on your mind, Gemini? What's going through your thoughts? The two of coins. What happened in the recent past? Woo, beautiful. We have the sun. More Leo energy, major arcana for Leo. What's the situation or why is everything happening? It's the death card in reverse. Major for Scorpio. I like to point out all the different signs I see. It doesn't mean, you know, it's not your reading necessarily. People like to know, so I, I say it. Coming into the near future, what will you experience? The Four of Coins. All right, how do you see yourself right now, Gemini? What are you up to? The Empress, beautiful. Major kind of uh, Taurus, Libra energy. What's in your environment coming in that you don't see yet? The Chariot. Look at all these majors. Cancer energy. Some of you are cuspers. <clears throat> Might be Gemini, Cancer cusp. What's going on in your emotions, your feels? The Four of Swords. All right, and what do we have for the outcome? The 15th through the 31st, another major arcana. Now we have Aries showing up. All right, Gemini. Everything's happening because of the death card in reverse. So this could be returning to something. It could be that there's a lack of change. Something's not ready to end or somebody's not letting something end. We'll see what this is. Again, it could be love. It could be a job situation. We'll just see how this all kind of pans out. This is a good time to get a nice glimpse of your cards. The artwork is really beautiful. I love the artwork on all the decks. I just find it fascinating. They're all different. So make sure that you like, share, and subscribe for me, please. Thank you for all your support. And, um, you know, you guys doing that helps the channel continue to grow. So thank you, thank you. Down in the comments section, put your birth date and find your Gemini twin. That's always kind of fun. If y'all need a private reading, um, I've linked all of that info below as well. And again, I included your August love reading um, and the extended readings there. So check those out as well. All right, Gemini, two more shuffles I'm feeling. And then we're going to clarify this bad bitch of a reading. All right, Gemini, let's see what your... 15th through the 31st looks like. I'm getting the sense, uh, Gemini, you've done some healing from a person. It looks like found your happiness, found your kind of found yourself again is what this reminds me of. And it could be that somebody hasn't quite let you go. Remember, it doesn't have to be love, just somebody in your life maybe. For some of you, maybe you were married to this person with that four of wands there, but let's start clarifying to what's going on here. So coming into the current moment, you have the six of wands. It's your energy coming in and the knight of pentacles. Victory, right? With the six of wands and success, could be in money, right? You're really focused on kind of just being steady, putting things kind of at a standstill and moving slowly because you're being responsible, the knights are coming, they're going, they're in pursuit of something, and it could be more stability and value, you know, valuing yourself. I feel like you guys are really focused on yourselves and your healing and loving yourselves and nurturing yourselves and that kind of thing. And it could be, you know, now you feel good. Like you could even be getting a lot of attention from other people. It's a beautiful energy, but there's somebody in your environment that maybe 
isn't willing to let you move forward. The Four of Wands is the influence. What's this Four of Wands about for Gemini? Injustice, sign of Libra. So that Justice card on the Four of Wands could certainly be um, like marriage, long-term commitment, something like that. But I don't feel like it would be you that wants to reconcile this. I feel like it would be someone else. Also, those of you that are trying to win a court case or, you know, something going your way, the, the justice card can talk about court, judicial system, that kind of thing, which would bring a lot of harmony and stability and celebrations within your home, your life. You're looking for victory. It could be a payout here, right? On your mind is this two of coins. Why is this here for Gemini? And the Queen of Pentacles. Capricorn energy, money, stability. Again, value, whether you're male or female. This is a week of Gemini really, really focusing. I think it's going to be a busy time. Some of you are waiting to hear um, good news or something to go your way as far as career or money or again, like in the courts or something like that. And so on your mind is I got to kind of move money here and do this until I get the, you know, more stability. Some of you are kind of going back and forth here. You're kind of weighing up your options about maybe taking a position or doing something that would bring in more money. In the recent past, you experienced the sun. Very healing energy, really getting your happiness back. Got Leo there. Why is the sun in the past? Ooh, with the sun in reverse. Okay, a delay. So seeing something clearly trying to, you know, you're healing from something, but a lot of happiness. You, you were kind of had this, like, it feels like an aha moment, but there was a delay here with the sun in reverse. Why is the sun in reverse? And the queen of wands. Step it up, getting your mojo back. You got Aries energy there, moving forward and taking charge. Something was delayed and it really, really affected your happiness. It was a way to go towards your happiness. Some of you healed from a relationship. It's all happening because of death in reverse. So again, this is something's not quite ready to change. Something's, you know, somebody could maybe not be letting something end, but I don't feel like it would be you, Gemini. Death in reverse. Yeah, the seven of pentacles in reverse. A loss of an investment here. So if this is a court case or even a, a career move, more money, a promotion, new job, something like that, there's a little bit, I, I feel a little bit of a delay here and it's like manifesting, it's boiling, it's, it's coming, you know, it's happening. It's almost there and you're having to really, really work on your stability. Your energy is good though. But the seven of pentacles in reverse says, well, maybe something will just lead to disappointment or it's a waste of time or something here. Um, if it's a relationship, this person is probably still holding on to you, but I feel like you've healed, you've seen the light, and because you realize it's just not worth it. What's the Seven of Pentacles in reverse? Yeah, the Six of Cups. See, your past could be somebody you have children with. Somebody here still wants Gemini, is what it feels like. Coming into the near future, you'll experience this Four of Coins. Why is this coming in for Gemini? And the Knight of Swords. There you are. That's your card. Could be some drama. Somebody's holding back from you. They owe you something or something like that. That you're trying to get resolved. Four of Coins is could be that you're holding back from someone. You don't want to be in their life anymore and you're taking off. Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords can be a little bit aggressive or even some drama. That Knight of Swords is in pursuit of something. What's this Knight of Swords coming in for Gemini? Yeah, the Ten of Cups to get your happiness back and something that will bring a lot of abundance to your family. You're holding on to your belief systems here too. So whatever this is that is going to bring more stability into your life, you're not budging from that. And this involves, um, could it, again, for if it's love that's hitting for y'all, it's a marriage probably or long-term commitment, something like that. But I feel like you're in pursuit of something else. Ten of Cups, yeah, loving yourself, the Empress, nurturing yourself, expansion and moving forward. There's new beginnings all over this reading, but there is somebody in your environment that maybe doesn't want to see you progress. Because you see yourself also as the empress. A lot of you are parents, obviously. What's this empress energy? What's this about? 
the hanged man. See, stuck. There's a wait here. There's a waiting period here for this new beginning. You're nurturing yourself. You're being a very good parent with the Empress energy. But there is just something that you want to expand and grow and move towards. But there is this kind of waiting and suspense with the hanged man. And it's because it's not time quite yet. So it's manifesting, but you may have to wait, you know, another week or so. In your environment coming in that you don't see is the chariot. Why is this chariot here coming in for Gemini? Ooh, see, there it is, the Ten of Pentacles. A lot of you are moving on from a relationship. And maybe this person, um, you know, needs to help you financially and you haven't resolved that yet or something like that. But the universe is bringing the success here quickly. It comes kind of out of nowhere after this little pause. Then it's like, boom, happens very fast. A lump sum of money, a settlement, a new job, something like that. What's this Ten of Pentacles in Gemini's environment? The Page of Swords. I don't think you guys are overly happy with someone here in your life. <laughs> That page of swords, I mean, he's inquisitive. He's kind of looking into something. He doesn't always like what he finds. He's researching. He's looking online, you know, and then he can be a little bit aggressive with his communication when he finds out something. It's very inquisitive energy. And I'm getting very much the energy of, well, you owe me this or I deserve this, which you do because your energy is all, you're vibrating on a high level here, Gemini. In your emotions, how are you feeling? The Four of Swords. Again, taking a pause, taking a break, pulling away from someone if this is a relationship. What's this Four of Swords for Gemini? And the world, yeah. You've absolutely ended, if it's love, you've ended a relationship. You feel like you've gone as far as you can go. And so now you're thinking about all the ways that you can expand and move forward in your life. And some of you to do that, you're waiting on something here that will help you financially. If it's not love or a relationship, this is just like a new job or something like that. But there's a little, there's kind of some delays here. Uh, the world says I've achieved it, right? You know, I've learned lessons. There's success that I'm trying to obtain, but I have to kind of pull away. There's a little bit of a, of a period of rest. What's this uh, world and the Nine of Cups? Something that you really want. And for some of you, what you really want is just your own happiness, <laughs> right? And to kind of do your own thing. Something that you're ending in your life, Gemini, you look at it as a good thing, a wish. Now, in the outcome, you have the Fool. So Major Arcana for Aries. So you've got the world here which is major arcana number 21. It's ending a cycle and then the outcome is a new beginning. So your outcome here is usually a result of what you'll experience in the near future because you're holding on to your own belief systems, could be somebody's holding back from you. you. You have something to say, you're in pursuit of something. It finally happens after these delays and it brings a lot of happiness to your family. And again, some of you are departing from a marriage, but there's still growth and expansion. You're doing a lot of work on yourself as well and because of that you have this new beginning here you have the fool and the outcome so why is this here fool why is the fool and the outcome for gemini so again this is the 15th through the 31st this fool and the devil sign of capricorn Ooh, what's the fool with the devil why is this here in the outcome why is the fool and the devil here in the outcome for gemini what's this about and the king of pentacles obsessively working towards that achievement and that goal. Some of you are dealing with a Capricorn, but this fool energy takes that risk. It's a new beginning here. Some of you, this person that you're breaking away from and maybe you're waiting on for them to provide some sort of stability, they've been quite toxic and they've held back from you. And with the fool energy, this is they're being foolish. And what happens is with that devil energy, it leaves you tied and bound. And they still have to pay out with that king of pentacles. But it, again, um, it looks like a lot of success, good money, good stability is reached here. Uh, for love, somebody's still just really attached to you. I mean, I don't know how else to say it. They want a new beginning. They're a little bit obsessive about getting it. And I think for those of you that that hits home, you were probably married to this person or in a long-term relationship. So you can expect them to continue to hold on and hold back anything that's going to 
elevate your future and your success because they don't want you to leave. What's this King of Pentacles about? Yeah, and the High Priestess, but you end up holding back from them. They may make it a little bit tough, like getting something that you need. You need something from this person and you're waiting for it. But they're so stuck on holding on to you that they're trying to not give it to you. It happens. I mean, the universe is going to bring it at some point anyway. And I think for a lot of you, this is their energy, actually. That page of swords, a little bit angry. And they're looking into things. They're, you know, asking about you, watching you. It's a little bit obsessive energy. What's this high priestess in the outcome here uh, for Gemini? What is this? The six of wands. You remain quiet, you keep to yourself, and you obtain victory there with the six of wands. I don't feel like this person's going to change your mind, whomever this person is. They're, they're having a little bit of a hard time. And again, I'm not getting like horrible, horrible energy from them. I just don't feel like they want you to have this new beginning in your life. Whomever this is, it looks like it comes anyway, but they're going to do everything they can to kind of hold on to you and which would prevent you from getting this fulfillment with that nine of cups. All right, Gemini, that's what I have for you. I love you hard. Love me hard back. And we will speak soon. Take care.